So in this problem, we have an astronaut that's hanging in space. Remember, there's no matter in space, so there's no friction. And he fires the thrusters in his spacesuit, which puts out 0 0.035 kilograms of gas at a velocity of 915 meters per second behind him. You're given the mass of the astronaut after the gas is expelled, and you're asked how fast and in what direction is the astronaut moving after he fires his thrusters. So, in this problem, instead of having a collision like most of these conservation momentums, this is kind of an uncollision. Two things are together, the gas and the astronaut, and then they break apart. This is actually how astronauts move in space. They had to spend a lot of time on Earth in, in zero gravity areas learning how to do this and how to do this properly so that when they do go in space, they don't waste a lot of time trying to figure out how to move around. So in this particular situation, I'm going to say that A is the gas and B is the astronaut. You can do it any way you want. It's just how I'm going to do it for this one. So this is what we called an uncollision, because at the beginning, it's one object. So the original momentum is equal to the momentum of the gas after and the momentum of the astronaut after. We aren't given the mass of object AB so we could just find it 79 plus 0 0.035, but we also don't need it because we know that the velocity is zero when they're together because they're motionless. So that means PAB1 is equal to zero. And we know the mass of A, our gas, is 0 0.035 kilograms, and the velocity of A is negative 915 meters per second because I'm saying that behind the astronaut is in the negative direction. This means that the momentum of the gas after it's released is 30, negative 32 kilograms times meters per second. And the mass of the astronaut is 79 and we are asked to find the velocity. So we can plug into our conservation equation. We know that 0 equals negative 32 plus PV2. So our momentum of the astronaut afterwards has got to be equal to positive 32 kilograms times meters per second. And we know that P equals M times V. So V equals P divided by M. and divided by 79 kilograms. So after firing his thrusters, the astronaut, who has a much greater mass than the gas, is going to be moving much more slowly to have the same momentum, 0 0.41 meters per second. And that's positive which for us meant forwards in the opposite direction that the gas was shot.